Okay, today's video is how to wire speed controllers on a Tornado Rocky. So you've got two controllers, the one fuse box, one throw, one reverse switch. I'm just going to tell you how to wire them up so they work in a pair. But in this case here, we've actually got four more motors on the trailer. So you've got six speed controllers on this setup. It all works perfectly all right. So you reverse the work, forward and backwards work, the throttle works, all matched up like that. Away you go again. So first stage, wire the motors up. Now I've used these nice solder couplings straight off the motor. And on this one, I've used 13 core cable and just used eight of the cores. 13 core cable actually comes thicker and thinner. So you've got the thick cores for the power and the thin for the signal. Run them through, through that, and then up to a 20 mil gland there and in follow them round and these are all joined up to the controller on the three big wires the five signal ones here so you've got red black blue green and yellow that's it so they're all wide i've temporarily connected this up to the battery here with just a temporary connection so we just test it so what you need to do next is, if I can just put this phone somewhere so we can see what we're doing. Right, is connect the two white wires of the controller. What this does is a learning process. So what it means is it works out which phases are in which position on the motor and then learns so it, it puts the pulses at the right time. He says that he can't find the flipping white wires. There are the white wires on the other one, look. That's it, they're underneath. Right, so connect these two together, like so. So the motor is now spinning, but that's going backwards, right? So we need to unplug them again. In here, unplug, plug it back in. Now we're going forward. And that's it. Once you've done that, unplug it and that control is set. So it's set to prioritize going forward, not backwards. Simple as that, really. First of all, I've wired it up so it's got one battery and you've got off and you've got one. So put it to position one, press the throttle. And I've wired the reverse switch on that one. Reverse is half speed as normal speed. Back to And I've wired the light switch at this far end. That lights up because it's running 36 volt, uh, the other one's only running 5 volts, so I can't get it to light up. So we'll have a look underneath how it all works now. So obviously we've got the battery, and then that goes into, the battery's got this little plug and wire that comes with it, and the main power of the battery goes into the cutoff switch onto battery one position. So off that, you come off with the, the main outlet, which is these wires here, into the positive side of the fuse box. The negative side of the fuse box is the other side of the main battery terminal. So that's the battery connected to the cutoff and the fuse box. Now, out the fuse box, you've got the two speed controllers. So we've got the plugs that come with them wired directly into the negative and the positive here on each speed controller running a 20 amp fuse on each one and the third one here which is grey wire up here goes into it for the lighting circuit so the grey goes into this middle contact here earth goes onto here so that's directly connected to the earth again down here and also connected up to the wire that goes up to the front loom 
and then the front loom positive connects on that other part of the switch. So that's it, the light switch, it's, all, it's not wired up yet because the wings aren't on, but I've just got it coiled up there, two core wire, as simple as that. So that's the lighting circuit done. All these wires here, you could use whichever ones you want out of the 13 pin. The five, five colors actually match for the small wires, but the big ones don't. So effectively, you're just joining them up to these speed controllers, which have got the same color wires. So there's five little ones and three big ones, eight wires per speed controller. Right, so that's the two, that's them doing, that's that, that's that done. And they've gone through 20 mil glands at the back of the car where the holes are. 20 mil glands at the front, which take the throttle wire and the charge wire. So connect all them up. Then you've got to connect the throttle up. So the throttle wire comes around here. Let's get it out. There's a lot of plugs here you don't use, so you don't have to worry them. But you can see here, two greens, one for each speed controller, green and white, go to the green on the throttle wire. The black out of this speed controller goes into there, not out of both speed controllers, and the red and the red. So the black goes to the yellow, which is a bit confusing, but don't worry about that. And after that, the red to the red, and that comes out the speed controller, this one. This is the main speed controller I'm gonna class it as. So that's the throttle connected. Reverse switch. Both of the blue with black tracer wires joined together out of the speed controller lot. And again, use just the negative one out of this speed controller at the bottom of the screen. They go up here, across here, and into that part of the switch, there and there at the bottom switch. So that activates the reverse. So you've got the throttle working, the reverse working. The only other thing here that I've done is, it, as standard, it runs in medium speed which is pretty well the same as fast speed. It's not much different. And there's a, there's a wire with three wires, there's a plug with three wires on it, pink, black, and gray. I've, oh, I've cut that and joined the pink and the black. That gives it absolute full power. If you were to join the, the gray and the black, it would make it go slower. So if you do want to go a bit slower, you can do that. But I've set this to, so it's got full speed. You can always limit the throttle anyway, how far it goes down. Uh, all that's left to do is mount the fuse box down, but I need to get it off this jack so I can drill some holes in the bottom and just clamp these cables together to make it look neater, but I've just got it as open as possible so you can see how it's all going. Um, thanks for watching.